Ms. Grace Fu, Minister for Culture, Community and Youth, Dr. Ang Hak Singh, Commissioner of Charities, Mr. David Gerald, President of Securities Investors Association, Singapore, distinguished speakers and panelists, fellow members of the Charities Council, ladies and gentlemen. A good morning to each one of you, and thank you for taking time off to attend today's Charities Governance Conference 2019. It is indeed a privilege to have all of you here this morning and for this occasion to be graced by Minister Graceful. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Securities Investors Association Singapore for being the organiser for this year's conference. For three years now, SIAS has very generously catered, set aside a day for charities in their governance week. It shows this is done from the heart. It's not a one-off thing. They always have charities in mind. And when they plan for the conference, which is a lot of work, they never miss us out. So thank you, Sias. I would also like to thank our distinguished speakers and panelists who have specially joined us today to share their expertise and insights. The theme for this year's conference is future-proofing charities. As we are now faced with ever-evolving social and technological trends, it is important for charities to build up capabilities, to manage the new challenges, as well as seize the opportunities lying ahead, to continue to serve the beneficiaries efficiently and effectively, charities need to adopt a progressive mindset and be adaptable to the needs of our changing society. The sure way of ensuring that Singapore's charity sector continues to thrive is by being future ready. It is not just about managing and coping with disruptions, but it is about anticipating the future, embracing and growing with the changes. And I would like to assure everyone here that the Charity Council is committed to supporting you in this journey with advice, enablers and guidance. This morning on the way here, I was reflecting on my speech and wondering that if this is all I say, some of you will be left wondering like, what are some of the areas that have changed that requires you to give more consideration? I'd like to give you two simple examples in your deliberation when you're thinking of programs. Quite many of us are involved in giving the underprivileged packages of food. And in the past, we were pat ourselves on the, bed, on the back, having organized such events and probably paying more attention to the design of the bag that we put the goodies in. This day and age, when we're talking about health, healthy aging, healthy living, isn't it about time we pay more attention to the contents of the packages that we put into it? Are we poisoning the beneficiaries by putting all the instant noodles, <laughs> all the sugary content? Are we giving them things that are nourishing, that will help them to age well? So the environment has changed. People are beginning to question these sort of things. You won't look good if you don't put effort into thinking about it. The second example I like to quote to explain what I've just said about changing environment is many of them, or many of you, have or is contemplating providing shelter for homeless. And this is excellent, it's good works. But if all you do is to provide shelter and nothing more, no help for these individuals you're helping to turn their life around, I think you have failed. You are making them dependent on your program. In the past, yes, in the past, in the 1950s and 60s, charity was providing shelter and three good meals for the homeless. Today, most of them are taken care of. We have Comcare, we have a lot of other things. Surely the people you are helping 
in the context of today's environment requires you to put more thoughts into how are you changing their lives. So something for you to ponder. And against the backdrop of today's volatile and complex environment, the charity sector must do what is necessary to keep our establishment not only sustainable, but also relevant. We must continue to safeguard one of our most valuable assets, the public trust. To gain and retain public trust, there are some fundamentals that we cannot compromise or shortchange ourselves on, and that I'm talking about is having a strong foundation of good governance and prudent management. We must be mindful at all times, especially so in the times of uncertainty, the importance of proper accountability and responsible stewardship. I'm indeed encouraged by today's turnout as it shows your commitment to constantly learn and enhance your governance knowledge and capabilities to better serve your beneficiaries. The commitment towards continuous learning and capability uh, development is key in future-proofing our charities. As leaders in our organisations, we all have the responsibility of not only charting our own learning path, but also in nurturing a culture of lifelong learning among the flock under your care. The Charity Council and the Commissioner of Charities are here to help charities on this journey of learning, and most recently, the Commissioner partnered with the Singapore University of Social, Social Science to launch the course Certificate in High Performing Charities. I'm happy to share that the course was indeed well received. To kickstart the conference, I'll be speaking on how charities can build trust through governance and effective resource management. You will get to hear insights in the second presentation on the competencies which charities need to develop to be better prepared and equipped in an ever-changing environment. I strongly encourage everyone to participate actively in the afternoon workshops, whereby our speakers will share valuable and practical learning points and deep dive into two salient topics, namely technology and cybersecurity, as well as internal audit. With that, I hope you're all looking forward to the lineup prepared for you, and I trust that everyone will have a fruitful time of meaningful exchanges and discussion. Most importantly, let us keep an open heart and open mind. Once again, on behalf of the Charities Council, thank you all for your presence this morning. God bless.